Good morning, everybody. This is Jen. I am just doing a quick, 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 quick little video. We've been absent for a couple of days. Actually, probably more than a couple of days. We had to um, run up to Kentucky and Ohio to take care of a couple of things. And one of the things that we um, kind of stumbled upon while we were up there taking care of some business is that... Um, we discovered that the black raspberries, or um, some people call them black caps, were ready to harvest. So we were able to harvest ourselves a big little bunch of them. There's Willow's coming in to say hi. Hi. We're at my mom's house. My mom came with me, came with us. So um, we're just back. It's I am not in the video this morning because I'm still running around in my PJs and have not gotten ready yet, but I knew I had to get up because this is time sensitive and I had to start processing these black raspberries. We are not going to make anything out of these guys. We are simply going to clean them and freeze them because um, they, what we've discovered in years past with doing it is if we make jams from them or anything like that, we try to do natural methods. We don't really... Um, we don't use a lot of the stuff that most people use to do their, their jams, jellies and stuff, and they just kind of turn to water, and it feels like they ruin them, and we enjoy them so much just in their natural form from the wild. So um, they're so sweet and so delicious. If you get a chance to harvest any black caps this season, I highly encourage you to. They're just amazing little treat to have. And this is just some of what we got. I just had this little bowl. I brought this in, and you can just rinse these off and let them dry off for a little while. You see, they're kind of tiny. They're really tiny, but they're worth it. And it took us maybe, we got about, um, I'd say about a gallon, gallon and a half bucket full of these that we harvested. And then, um, yeah, it took us about a half an hour, 40 minutes to do that. We could have gone on for hours and probably days harvesting them but we just didn't have time we had to get back to North Carolina um, we might actually plan a second trip up there just to do the harvest again and we're gonna shoot another video later with a surprise that we got that I am super excited about Joe found something there um, on some land that we were visiting that is something we used to have here in Appalachia, especially Western North Carolina, a lot, and we don't have them anymore. Um, just from commercialization, people moving here, the land being over harvested, people tearing down what was once beautiful, natural uh, fruit bearing trees and plants, and we were able to get something, and we are going to try our hand at bringing it here so that we have it here on our homestead. And that's another video coming up. So I will see you guys in a little while. We'll post another video just to let everybody see our other discovery that I'm so excited about. So I hope everybody has a beautiful day. And get out there and forage some berries. It's, it's berry season. It's on. Bye, everybody.